Our final speaker for the night is none other than our very own Priscilla Kukui, who is from GHG Digital and is the emerging is an emerging technology strategist who leads the digital and innovative immersive projects for clients with AR and VR projects. Please put your hands together for Priscilla. Alrighty, I'm the one between you and the bar, so we will start with a little activity. Please put all your glass on the floor, hands on. If you are a YP, clap your hands. Repeat that. If you are a YP, clap your hands. Yeah, okay, all right. You're still awake? We can go on. So my name is Priscilla Kukui. Uh, I'm a futurist, I'm an emerging uh, tech strategist, and I'm the immersive digital solutions uh, lead at GHD Digital. Uh, in the next uh, 12 minutes, maybe 15 if I'm lucky, uh, we will have a really quick look at the future of work um, and what it means. So we are right now in a new era of environmental change, uh, automation, artificial intelligence, uh, and the top questions in every, everyone's mind is what does the future hold? And really it's a question, how can we plan as a company or as an individual for the future? I don't have a crystal ball, I can tell you right now, but I will share with you my very top five uh, prediction and recommendation for the future. So number five, anyone would like to give a guess on what it could be? Anyone? Okay, all right. Number five is adaptation. Technology advances very quickly, and a lot of companies don't create five years business plan anymore, but rather articulate a vision and try to be agile. So companies and yourself should implement adaptive plans to react to the future, to go in a direction or another. Unlike our parents, uh, we are unlikely to have the same job uh, all our life. Unlike our parents, we may enjoy the opportunity of changing jobs much more often, right? Who's done more than three jobs since you've started working? Including student jobs. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, nothing from uh, my career could have prepared me for working in immersive tech. Uh, I study business, uh, graduated with a master's degree in the, um, I graduated in uh, uh, corporate finance and information systems. Uh, I worked as a management consultant uh, most of my uh, life for various industries for oil and gas, for pharmaceutical, for goods manufacturing, for the luxury industry. Uh, I surely had a deep interest for innovation, but 10 years ago, the world augmented reality, virtual reality, were not buzzwords that they are today. I just uh, adapt to opportunities and uh, have been flexible along my career whilst embracing change, and it's a number four. Embrace change and diversity. It will make you richer. Go on that trip overseas. Just, you know, plan it. Plan it tomorrow. Arrive at work, plan that trip. <laughs> work with different colleagues. Make sure that you always have different friends. Different from you. Understand how they think. Or don't understand how they think. It's fine too. Understand how they work. How you can work better together. It's one of the richest experiences you could have. It will enlarge your world, be open to diversity. Today, I'm still not gifted with languages. My English is poor, but not only that, the way I express myself is weird for others. Even in French, people usually don't get straight what I want to say, what I try to, to get, where I want to go. But I've been able to live to adapt and work in more than 10 countries, most of the time on my own, 
both countries uh, in a language that I couldn't speak fluently. After doing my MBA uh, in Delhi, uh, I traveled on my own for about three months around India by the coast. I was just asking uh, families I, was, uh, I met on the street if they would let me have me at their place. It was the best way for me to actually meet people and to understand them. Number three, be curious. Don't stay in your comfort zone, never. Get inspired by the world. I always had an interest for art and creativity, and because I'm an extrovert, uh, I also inspired by people. Did you know that Steve Jobs Steve Job took calligraphy classes? Did you know? Raise your hand if you knew. Yeah. It's a reason why today we have different uh, typography in the world, just to that class. So go to that museum, have that extra training, go to that dance show, go somewhere you've never been, speak with your neighbors. Like, what would you, what, do you know what you could learn and how you could reuse that experience? My creativity allows me to connect ideas at work or in my personal life. My last creation is an immersive and interactive uh, experience in VR, and uh, I've been shortlisted by uh, Create New South Wales. Be curious. Number two, the only talent is drive and perseverance. It's the only talent. We are not born, born with any talent, we just need to go through that. We all want to be relevant, to have the best job. What does the market need? Should I learn to be a programmer? Should I learn agile project management? What you should do to be relevant is to listen to yourself. Listen to your inner voice. What was your dream when you were 10 years old? 10 years old? What did you want it at that time? What does that voice inside you tell you? Just follow your passion. The best, the best chance to make yourself happy is to be happy now. So do what you like and do it often. Good chances that you will be good at it just because you will work hard for it because you will just enjoy it. And if you love what you do, you maybe know the saying, you will never have to work a single, a single day of your life. So most of the time when I share my plans with my friends or with anyone, uh, they often think that I'm crazy, that I want to have unrealistic uh, wishes. And I don't care. I just do what I think that I should do. I set up alone a subsidiary of a French company in Mauritius Island. So Mauritius Island is an island in the Indian Ocean. I arrived in a new country with a new culture with a strong business specificities, and I did it on my own. I didn't know anyone, didn't know the market. I gained the trust of the islander, I identified the right company, and I set up the first ever software as a service uh, company in Mauritius Island. And I've been awarded for that work as one of the top three executives in the uh, ocean, um, Indian Ocean area. And number one, what could that be? Be yourself. Everyone else is taken, you know? Do you know what Dr. Seuss uh, was saying? The only one who care don't mind, and the, the one who mind don't care. We are all the minorities of anyone else. We all are the weirdo of someone else. You are unique. You are unique and awesome in your uniqueness. Embrace it. Be yourself. Dare to be different. Have that weird ideas. Like that weird music. The best way to be happy in the future is by making you happy today. Don't wait for anyone's permission. Be who you are. Dream to be. Be you. The future has not arrived yet. 
and I invite every one of you to start conversation on technology. Things don't just happen to you. You need to provoke them sometimes. Use your critical thinking. Debate on what you would like the future to be. What you would like your future to be. Because the best way to predict the future is to create it. My name is Priscilla Kukui. If you have questions, I will be at the back. We are showcasing some of our immersive work uh, from GHD Digital. Or you can drop me an email, or you can contact me on LinkedIn too.